I have crippling depression. And today you're in luck because we're going to discuss one of the most basics in medicine, which is medical terminology. So, you want to get into terminology? First of all, terminology is the study of the terms, the study of the words itself. But in the medical field. So, for example, let's take the word terminology. The word itself is subdivided into the beginning, the middle of the word, and the end. The beginning is term. The beginning is called a prefix. The middle, which is N, N, can you see it? It's called root. And the end of the word ology, which is the study of, called suffix. This is terminology, prefix, root, suffix. It's what is the word divided to. Let's take examples. Okay, first of all, let's take a look at the prefix. For example, a, an, anti, or anti. A means without. Now I'm going to give examples. An also means without. Anti, it's against. Against. This example on the suffix a is apnea. A is the prefix which is without. Apnea is the suffix which is a breathing. So you're gonna acknowledge this word by a terminology. Apnea without breathing. Apnea is actually the stop of breathing. Usually it happens when you're asleep. Example on the prefix N. Anaerobic. Anemia. This is the prefix N. Anaerobic means without Aerobic means oxygen, with oxygen. So anaerobic, it's without oxygen. Anemia, an is the prefix, call without. Amia is blood. Oxygen. And tie, which is against. This example is antibiotic which we use against the bacteria so we use terminology to analyze these words it's a good way so here we have more examples of the prefix hyper means high everything is hyper is high hypo in the other hand it's the opposite of hyper, which is low. Everything is hypo, it's low. This means difficulty. Macro means large. And micro means small. Let's give an example on hyper. Hyper. Thermia, for example. So hyper means high, and it's the prefix. Thermia means temperature. We can also make the opposite, hypothermia. This is the suffix, this is the prefix. 
It means low temperature. This difficulty we can we can say dyspnea. This is the prefix. Dyspnea means a breathing, as I said before. So it's the difficulty of breathing. Dyspnea, or we can say dysphagia. This is the prefix, phagia is the suffix, this means difficulty, phagia means swallowing. So it's difficulty in swallowing. Macro, for example, macroscopic. Micro, microscopic or microscope. Microscope is a device that you use to see the small organism. We have these two full words hypocalcemia and hyperglycemia. Hypo is the prefix and it means low. Cals, which is the root and it means calcium. Emia, which is the suffix, and it means blood, low calcium blood. So hypocalcemia is low levels of calcium in the blood. Hyperglycemia, hyper is the prefix, glyce is the root, emia is the suffix. Emia means the blood, glyce is a shortcut to glucose or sugar, hyper means high, high glucose blood. Hyperglycemia means high levels of glucose in the blood or high levels of sugar in the blood. So this is terminology in general. We're gonna discuss and give more examples in other videos. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. I hope that you like this video. Like and subscribe for more content. See you later in another video.